Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Olsen and it's Samurai Hex and welcome back to another episode of Rampaging Rams The FM22 beat a save with Derby County Now if you have been enjoying this series and you want to support the channel give this video a like It does help the channel out, it, gets, it makes it more visible to people who might not be searching uh, For my channel and maybe just be searching for Derby County FM22 saves It'll make it more top of the near the top of the search bar and I'll get more views and more subscribers and we can build this community and if you are one of those new people who is not already subscribed subscribe it doesn't cost anything you won't be miss you won't miss out on good content I hope and yeah subscribe if you if you are new also in the description below is a link to a discord link is a discord link Discord.gg, then load of letterings and numbers. It's basically a server on Discord, uh, which is a like, gaming platform, you could say, or a social platform where you can hang out with friends and game or just talk or just chat, you know, things like that, either in text chat or voice chat. So come join that and say hi to me and the community. Also, in the description below is a new link to a TikTok. Yes, I have created a TikTok account where I'm posting videos uh, of this series basically and the series in the future of the well the best moments of the series in short like 25 30 second video format also in the description below is the link to twitter so come follow me on there and there's also a link to twitch and if you have been looking at my twitter you will might have noticed that i have posted a new tweet saying i might be getting into streaming i'm <laughs> I say this every I say this every few months. I'm like, okay, I'll do it, and then I get cold feet and say, no, I'm not doing it at the very end. I think I'm gonna force myself to actually do it this time. If I don't like it, I don't like it, and I won't do it again. But you gotta at least try, right? So the streams will be on this channel. So subscribe if you're not already subscribed, just to make sure you never miss a stream as well. I don't know when I'll start streaming. Probably when I get to one where I'm a week ahead. On my videos on this channel and then I'll stream FM 22 so yeah but after last season's miraculous survival if you missed that episode you're just watching now um, spoilers go watch that episode first you got okay I was saying you got three seconds but I was only pressed it but yeah um, we survived 19th place we were quite safe quite safe quite well we were safe quite well in the end Millwall Coventry and Peterborough going down in the end Sheffield United Fulham and Reading got promoted Reading off through the playoffs and if we go to season preview teams to get relegated were Brian Crystal Palace and Norwich teams to get promoted were Portsmouth Rotherham and Charlton and as you can see we expected to finish 13th. Now why is that? Well, if I go to finances and it actually shows, so sometimes it doesn't show I find, you might just have to wait a second. But we had about eight, it's not done it. <laughs> I don't know why it's so sly. Uh, but yeah, we had about eight million in the bank. To, uh, well, not, well, we had 20 million overall balance, 25, 26 million, something like that. And the transfer budget they gave us at the end of the season was eight million. Um, we only had about twenty twenty nine thousand pound in wage budget, one hundred thousand pound in wage budget, which we've upgraded to three hundred and one uh, hundred thousand, and we've still got a, a few to spare. We've got two million to spare, so we spent eight we spent six million. Who are those transfers? Well, we'll have a look at them. So of course we'll start with um, the end of last season where we had we sold some players and loaned some out. So Bartas Sibulski has gone on loan um, to Dartford. Louis Watson, who played quite a few games for us last season, to be fair. Uh, I don't know why it's did that. Hello. Uh, there we go. He played 21 games for us last season. Most some off the bounce, some started. He was quite a good player, really. But Port Vale in League 2 came in with an offer of a loan with an important first team player, and I thought it would get more game time with them. It'll do him good. 
So we have loaned him out. And Craig Forsyth, who got unhappy with us. When we upgraded his contract um, to this for this season, for, le- for la- last season, for this until the end of this season, I, there was a thing that I had to make sure I played about centre back as a centre back, <laughs> like a centre back, centre back, you know. And the thing is, the tactic which works, and I don't want to change or anything, plays a ball-playing defender in the middle and a wide centre-back at the two things. And most of the time, I'm actually playing him as well, a wing-back. So he got happy, and I decided to cash in on him. I'm upset that I had to sell him, to be fair, because he was with his 10th year with Derby. Sure, one of them was alone, but he was with us years and years and years. And he played quite a lot of times last year, last season. So it's sad to see him go, but he's gone to Preston for just under 30k. I don't think it's as no, it isn't. I think it was 30, just under 30k all up front, and that was a good deal. Um, so yeah, we've sold him to Preston. Well, hopefully he will end his career with a bang, as long as it's not ruining our chances. <laughs> In terms of signings, um, we did renew Malaki Fagan Walcott. He is the defender who was like so good last season for us. 16 games, 7.33 average rating in two player of the matches when he came in in January. And that's how good he was. So we, of course, loaded him in. And then we've also signed some players since then. So just before the season ended, we signed Rodrigo Muniz. Who is a Brazilian striker? Um, he, he he was at Flamengo at the start of the game, uh, where Fulham have signed him for six point seven five million uh, last season. He never played a game, so we have signed him uh, for five hundred and seventy five k. Well, not five hundred. Well, five. Well, we signed him on a loan with 575k monthly cost altogether over a year. So hopefully he'll do well with us. We also signed Till Ashcroft. That was the head of youth development. Uh, I just decided to go ahead with it because we had enough money. He was a Reading player. um, And we've signed him on a free. Uh, he's not very good potential ability, but I thought I'd just give him a chance. You know, he might get that good. He might get two and a half star. He might get three star. Who knows? I've also signed Dane Scarlett on loan. Another striker as the backup to Jack Stretton or Muniz or whatever. If he's the starter, it depends how many who scores the most goals. And I only signed him really because he actually played seven times, six off the bench for Tottenham in the Premier League last season. And he didn't do that badly. Sure, he didn't score. Sure, he didn't get an assist. But an average rate of 6.72 when you're that young and that not that good for the Premier League. I'll take it. So, we have signed him. And the rest of the signings and sales. Sales, Marco Bukovic went on loan to not Newport County. Seb Thompson went on loan to Scarborough. Bobby Duncan. This was signed. This was deal was done last season where... We wanted to sell him. He got unhappy because we didn't let sell him to a certain club for because they weren't giving us enough. So in the end, we loaned him to Peter with a mandatory or something like that, 20k fee, and he has gone to Peter Colin Kazim Richards, of course, left. His contract ran out and he's gone and joined uh, Club Leon in Mexico. We also loaned out Alameda Ibrahim to Cheltenham. Reese Brailsford and Aaron Cashin's gone on loan to Gloucester and Oxford. Uh, we sold Connor Dixon, just a youngster. His potential ability has actually gone up according to the scouting rating, but according to the coaches, it was only two and a half star. Uh, and at his age, that is why we decided to sell him. He's 21, so that's why we sold him. I don't think he'll get that good at all, especially with him not playing in the first thing because he's not good enough. Uh, Malcolm Ebis- uh, Boa has gone on loan to South End. Max Bardell's gone on loan to Woking. Jordan Brown's gone on loan to Morecambe. Isaac Hutchinson, who uh, another youngster, he has good potential ability, and he had still good potential ability, but at 22 years old, I didn't think he would reach it. 
Um, so in the end, MK Dons came in with an eleven thousand pound offer, rising to twenty one thousand and a half. <clears throat> as my voice breaks, um, but yeah, we sold him for that amount. Cordell McDonald's gone on loan to Wimbledon. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't think you can because of Nvidia broadcast, but it's done, all of a sudden really pouring down with rain. Riley Maloney has gone on loan to Oxford. Andreas de Grassi has gone on loan to Kidderminster. And then we go with the signings. Matt Clark, who, if you're a Derby fan, you might remember him. <laughs> he was at low. He, he was with Portsmouth. Uh, well, he was originally with Ipswich, and then he was loaned out to Portsmouth and then exchanged with Portsmouth. And eventually, Brighton bought him. And that same season, Derby County loaned him in. Now, this is when we really didn't have any... Where the financial troubles weren't known. They probably were still there, but they weren't known. The season after that, we also loaned him in. But last season, he decided not to... Or, I don't know if we... Could, I don't think we signed him because we had a transfer embargo. No, we wouldn't have. I just don't think he wanted to join us. So, in the end, yeah, he joined... Uh, West Brom had a good season with them, and so we have signed him for six hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Uh, he was on the transfer list. I noticed him that uh, I noticed when we were looking for defenders that he was on sale. Uh, he was all I forgot who it was. Some team one were trying to sign him already. Um, so we put in a bigger offer of only about fifty k up more. Um, so they reject in the end. Um, Brighton rejected that smaller bid and accepted ours by that time Matt Clark joined us so that was good um, another player we signed is James Morris just another youngster he might get good, he might not it, it depends and then this was the director of football uh, Matt Clark signing wasn't the other signing as well was a head of youth development but this guy was director of football Malik Wilkes Hull City player, he, he, he did quite well in the Championship last season, he did even better the season before and in the League One, so we've signed him for 1.5 million, um, and hopefully he'll be a very good player in the back and the replacement for Todd Lawrence who has left in the end, um, these are the players that left, Richard Steeman retired, Tom Lawrence left and Josh Barnes left, also uh, Phil Jagielka retired off uh, near the end of the season. Even though I wanted to keep him as backup, which was most likely the reason we ended up signing Matt Clark. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, of course, Ashley Richards came in on a free. He was already director of football, signed him ages ago, and it's finally been um, guaranteed that he's joined. It was already guaranteed to join, but it's finally been put in that he has joined. From Haverford West in Wales. Um, Jonathan Belingi, this was me signing him. He, I noticed a load of championship clubs were after him on a free end of contract transfer, along with I think some league clubs and German Bundesliga clubs. So I thought, okay, this guy might be quite decent. So we put in a, uh, a contract offer and he ended up joining us. So he's the striker slash, slash wingers. So he, hopefully he'll be a good player. Then this was a player signed by the director of football. But they rejected the bid. So I had to renegotiate it and give him the contract and all that. Which is Luke offered. Now he can play right back. And he can play centre mid if I train him that. Or DM. But he's mostly going to be playing as the DC. Uh, yeah he's coming from Crow. Where he had a good season last year. Bit expensive, I find 2.1 million res into 2.6. But he could be a really good player. Really good player. Uh, and then Declan Freeth is just a young, another youngster who had no club after being released by Aston Villa last season. Um, so we have swooped in and signed him on a free. So hopefully he can turn into a good player. That is all the transfers. So one son, only one game today, and that is against Bristol City. Uh, in terms of the preseason, we've literally just won every single game. Um, 
I would say two of them were hard against Bershot and Zolt Vargum. Or Vergum. I don't know how you pronounce that name. But we, we played them at home. We won quite comfortably. We won all games quite comfortably, really. Uh, I would say, even though I didn't see them because I don't play friendly matches. But I'd say we won them comfortably. We've got against, against Bristol now. The team going in for this first game of the season is Kelly Roos in goal. Luke Offord is the centre back. K- and Christian Bielek is the ball playing defender centre back. And the other wide player centre back is Matt Clark. Uh, right wing back is uh, Richards coming in for his debut. Dylan Williams is the left wing back. Centre mid is Max Bird and Graham Shinney. Right wing is Malik Wilkes. Left wing back is Josiak. And forward is Jack Stretter. Subs is Muniz, Buchanan, Abseli, Belingi, Walcott, Pichard and Scarlett. So we've got a few. Uh, no, none of the Lonies are actually in the team, in the first team, but they're all on the bench. So we might give them a chance, who knows. In terms of injuries, Nathan Burns just a tiny bit injured. Uh, from a pulled calf muscle that he suffered in one of the uh, friendly matches. But yeah. Let's just get into the game, shall we? We've probably gone on way too long. I was just checking I was even recording then. Thankfully I am. Otherwise, that was a complete waste of my life. Okay. I want to be impressed today. Go and put on a show. I'll do... Hands in pockets. And I will go high of faith to everybody because that always gets everyone motivated. At least most of them, at least. Skip ahead the intro. Just do that because I would like it. And there we go. Straight into the game. Hopefully we can get a win. I know it's Preston already winning. I oh, know not Preston, Portsmouth. Uh, as we got a highlight with Bielik. Bird gives it to Stratton. Wilkes is open. He's not going to reach it though. And the ball gets eventually to Richards. Bird gives it back to Roos. I've got a really itchy nose, I find, when I record. I really don't know. It's always when I record, and I really don't know why. As Drozak crosses it in, it's headed. What a save by Bentley then. Stratton should have scored, but an incredible save from Bentley then. Should be 1 0 up if it weren't for the great goalkeeping then. Apparently, according to a co- uh, not a comment but a message I got on the SI forums, the official SI forums, is that first episode I actually de- definitely went de- very defensive on my own court. I didn't do it by I didn't do it. It wasn't a bug in the game. It was literally me messing up. So the reason we conceded that first game and lost it, uh, drew it of the first episode of last season was literally because of me being stupid. As Josiak should have scored them, but it's just wide. Quite in the ascendancy right now. Uh, but we should say I've had more shots. Uh, we've had more XG though. And so we'll say... Uh, keep working hard until full time. Yeah, I'm happy with that. As I of course have to go and set that back. I, I see the bug as an end that changed. I don't know if it is the bug because of the graphics music as we just conceded. Oh, offside. Oh, we're lucky there. Very lucky. I'll just say just offside. Really should have done better then. Really should have done better. But I'm glad. In the end... It is an offside call, as I will make the first change of the game. I think I'll give Rodrigo Muniz a chance. Uh, Mal- Wilkes isn't having a good game, so I'll put in Belinge. Oh, that reminds me. Um, where is he? Michael Jacobs is also unhappy with me. Um, because he said he wanted to play a certain role, and the only way I could sign him last season 
in January was because I had to agree to that. It was like red ticked. I couldn't remove it at all. So we just had to force to we were forced to accept it. And that was to play him as an inverted winger on the left. Thing is we play with inside forwards. So he was always going to be unhappy, so he's kinda of unhappy right now. Hopefully he'll get rid of it. Um Otherwise we will have to sell him. I'm not selling him in, in this window, I'll have to sell him in January if he's still unhappy. Um, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Really unfortunate, really, as we will make a last a last change. I think we'll take Luke Offord off. He's quite tired. Um, Vega Walcott can come into the side. As it's reset this again. <laughs> I hate it when it does that. As I will do some encouragement. Everyone is happy apart from Matt Clark, who's frustrated. Come on, Derby, get a goal. I know we've lost every game we've played against Bristol City. We've can't, we've lost, so we've got to win this. We'll draw it at least, and it is a draw. And no one will draw the first game of the season, just like last year. It was a draw. Uh, yeah, I'll just say that what they wanted to say. Nimble nil in the end, not the worst result. Uh, in you're not yeah, not the worst result. So yeah, uh, no bother looking at the table really, uh, only one game played, apart from Brighton and Swansea have yet to play. Uh, in terms of next game, next episode, probably if you play a few more of the games, I could always come back for the Barnsley Forest game. What do you think about that, or Forest Crystal Palace, depending on where we are in the league. Yeah, I'll come back for the Forest game definitely. Anyway, I've been Matthew Orson and Sarah Hacks. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like. It does help the channel out, like I said. Subscribe for more FM22 content and eventually streams. I'll see you all next time. Hex signing out. Bye, everybody.